Today we're going to be looking at the gradient tool and a really fun trick you can do within the gradient tool to make super unique backgrounds in literally 10 seconds. Let's check it out. So we're going to grab the gradient tool and you can press G on your keyboard and it'll pop up. Once you're there, you're going to go up to the top and pick your gradient. This is the fun part. Once you've picked your gradient, the next thing you want to do is pick your gradient mode. For this tutorial, we're going to start with the diamond gradient. And then the next thing to do is change your blend mode from normal, open the dropdown, and pick difference. We'll draw out our first gradient, just click, drag, and release, and this is our first diamond gradient. I'm going to try not to go too fast because it's a little jarring to the eyes, but the idea is to draw over your existing gradient. So now we can see the first gradient here. This is kind of the angle we picked to begin with. So it's still there. It's just this new gradient we drew is now interacting differently with our original gradient. And that's because we are in different blend mode. So the trick here is to keep doing this over and over again until you find something that looks really cool. So I'm going to keep doing what I just did over and over again. And it already looks kind of cool, but you can take this as far as you want. And as time goes on, these little angles and details will get more noticeable and they will be stronger. So it just depends on what you're looking for. And remember to change up the angle of your new gradient that you're drawing each time. This just sort of adds some variation to your background. I like that. I'm going to keep that. What I usually like to do is hide the layer, make a new layer, fill it again, and we'll pick a new gradient this time. So let's pick something like this pink, grayish blue gradient. Let's try the reflected gradient. So again, we'll just draw it out and we'll keep doing that until we get something cool. I love this already. This is really fun, but let's keep going, see what we can get. So we're starting to get some detail, some ripples, some stripes. I love this too. I just, I love all of it. It all looks good to me. So feel free to stop whenever you want. This is a very open-ended tutorial and you can also do some cool stuff to it afterwards, like you can hop into the filters and you can blur this to sort of get that freeform gradient look that people often do in Illustrator. Maybe you want to go in and add some noise. Experiment with the amount if you like the look of noise. So one last thing I want to show you is a trick you can do with Unsharp Mask. So in this case, we have a lot of these bright jagged edges that we can do some cool stuff with. So let's go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. So right off the bat, it doesn't look any different because we haven't changed the amount or the radius. So let's crank this up a bit as well as the radius. And this is just a really simple cool effect you can do on many different types of these gradients. It just adds that sort of definition. So that's it for this tutorial. It's super simple. It's a great way to get background art when you're not really sure where to start. This is a cool way to introduce new design elements that sort of pop up on their own through the use of blend modes and gradients. Have fun with it, and I'll see you next time.